Hey, what is up guys? President Clash here. Welcome to another video. And today we're going to be experimenting with the deck that Nick and Knight uh, showed us in one of his most recent uploads. I'll pop an image on the screen of his most recent upload. And in that video, he uses a very similar deck, but obviously there's a couple differences here. I replace one of the cards and second, he's in Legend League and I'm in Arena 4. Big difference. And I found this deck already to be very useful, and like he said, this deck has been working out good. So a lot of people like to see low level versions of things, and I'm not trying to copy his video or anything. In fact, this is completely different in, in the fact that I'm using a different changed up deck. And I want to show you right here, here's what the deck looks like. And actually I did change up two things. In fact, I am actually using the Musketeer and Arrows in this deck, as it does provide to be very useful at this low level uh, area where I'm currently in. It averages uh, 3.9 at the moment and that's pretty cheap on Elixir and this deck has been providing me with uh, lots of good benefits lately. Let's just check out a nice replay. I believe this was a 3 crown, um, yeah I'll show you the 3 crown victory. And here you go. So again I'm up against a guy who's level 7 and as you can see you can look at his deck at the top. Uh, game starts, his name is Andre. Start out with an angry face because I'm kind of disappointed I'm going to have to verse a level 7 dude. So as you guys can see, let's see what he does first. Uh, I drop my musketeer on the ground and I think he's going to drop a giant. Yep, he does drop a giant and then he drops a prince. So right here, um, I, I use my barbarians to stop his uh, prince attack and I also toss in some goblins to you know slow down this uh, giant attack. And as you can see, my archers are going to be right in sight to take out those... Um, uh, what is that? That goblin barrel? As well, I drop a hog rider because as you guys can see, he's kind of saving up on elixir at this point. But the thing is, I still have my archers in the back. And archers are very pivotal in the fact that they just like literally took out the rest of the troops. And I take this opportunity to use the archers and the musketeer. He does drop a mini peck at the bottom, but I'm not too worried. I use some archers to, you know, take it out from behind the tower. Uh, not too much of a problem there, and as you guys can see, we already have one full crown, so it's all going very well. So this guy is getting a bit tense at this point, you know, he, he I don't think he even dropped a baby dragon this whole time. Yeah, I think during the whole raid, he never dropped a baby dragon, which I would recommend you probably would do, because I probably would have had a little bit of a struggle trying to defeat that baby dragon. But as you guys can see, I just already took out the second tower and I believe he's going to get this tower because I have no troops to really defend it. That prince is going to end up getting that tower, but as you guys can see, my barbarians at the top are just destroying that guy's king tower. I'm going to drop a musketeer right about now and that's going to defend my base a little more against those skeletons along with a few archers. So that's going to work out well as well. We're going to be able to take out that mini P.E.K.K.A with ease without doing a single damage to my troops. After this, uh, I believe at this point, I'm just going trying to get the three crown because this guy is obviously going to lose at this point unless he clutches me by taking out my crown tower with that prince he just dropped. However, but at this point, um, his prince doesn't have enough time or damage to really destroy me. My musketeer is going to get that three crown victory for us. So I say good game, I wrap it up, uh, and he must have been really pissed, but again, this is the game, we're trying to get up further, and again, that was a good game. Now we're going to go out, and I'm actually going to show you guys this deck live, we're going to do a raid live for you guys. So let's go ahead and see what we can do with this awesome deck. We're up against a level 6, very happy about that, and let's see what we can do. So usually I like to wait out for his first move, but if he or the enemy's first new move, and if they don't do anything within like 10 seconds, I usually don't. I just drop my musketeer first. So I'm just going to drop my musketeer right here. As you can see, it's going to be a bit of a problem now that he has a giant skeleton, but it's not going to really affect us too much. I'm just going to take that giant skeleton out with a couple barbarians. Alright, we're going to drop our archers right in behind, and as you can see, there are minions right there. But not a problem as my archers have literally just taken it out. Gonna drop a hog rider with the goblins right in behind and then the archers right in the back. And in the end this is actually gonna be very useful because we did get a bit of damage done to that tower. My archers also got a chance to take out most of that inferno tower. So it's going pretty well at this point. Uh, like I would really recommend you guys do this when you have a giant and archers in the same deck. Put the giant first and then put the archers right in behind because that is really the most effective way you could use the giant. I mean there's many other ways but that is really good. 
So we're just gonna drop a musketeer on this side to intimidate him to most likely defend. Uh, he drops a giant skeleton. Probably going to do the exact same thing he did earlier with the same attack strategy. And I'm gonna be able to take him out at that point. Gonna drop barbarians right about now. And archers right in behind. Now, uh, given this, he, yep, he dropped a uh, giant on the other side. So I'm just gonna drop a minion of war. It's not gonna get the giant, or actually no. Yeah, unfortunately he did drop um, arrows, but again, my archers did get a bit of damage done to his tower. So in the end, we're still in the lead at this point. Approaching the one minute mark. So this is getting a bit intense, but uh, I'm not really worried at this point. We seem to be in the lead. So I'm gonna, do, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and intimidate him by dropping my stuff on this side. And then I'm gonna go in with a hog rider. Oh, I see, he still wanted to go on my side. My Hog Rider is going to get a bit of damage done to that Crown Tower right before it dies. Yep. This is the one time that I'm using Archers. And now he has me in a bit of a pickle. As you guys can see, that Giant is right there doing a bit of... Or getting really close to my tower. And that's kind of disappointing. Uh, because I'm going to lose a lot of damage to that tower. Also, he did manage to ba barely survive that attack and now he has some minions incoming but they should be taken out very slowly just dropped another one of those oh no this is actually not very good oh no 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 all right all right we're gonna drop that and then we're gonna go in all right we have second seven seconds and my hog rider is gonna finish it off with that last hit and that's the three that's the one crown victory there we go. So this was a bit of a harder raid, as you guys can see. The enemy was actually playing a bit smarter, and he he kind of surprised me there with that just giant skeleton coming out of nowhere. I'm not I'm not exactly sure how he did that. Maybe he just popped that right back into his deck somehow, or he had a mirror. But regardless, uh, we ended up getting 29 trophies. And do we have time for another raid? Uh, I'm just gonna end the video here. Again, I'm gonna show you the raid one more time. Oh, I'm gonna show you the deck one more time. There you guys go, that's what the deck looks like. I'm still gonna upgrade my arrows and my barbarians, or sorry, and my giant. Otherwise, uh, this deck does seem very nice. And uh, let me show you guys something else. Um, I showed you, not this replay, but the replay, uh, this one right here by Andre. And the one right before that, I also got a two crown victory. And as you guys can see, this was one of the harder ones. And this guy kind of made a mistake by using the expo. His expo took way too much time out of, the, or way too much elixir out of his deck for fighting, and that's reason. That's the reason why he lost. Really, don't use expos because they waste too much elixir and time. When you could use be using that to defend your base or even be attacking the enemy base. So that was a loss for him. But otherwise, uh, that's about it for this video. Thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, I, do, I do appreciate a like and a comment. Again, uh, giveaway is currently going on right now. When I reach 10k subscribers, I will be doing a huge mass giveaway. You guys will be getting gift cards. And uh, if there are enough of you, you might every single one of you might actually get a gift card. Not every one of my subscribers, but everyone who comments on my videos. And that's about it. Thanks for watching, and see ya!